Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato and today's Everything Music, we're going to talk about how to make your modulations have more impact. The way you're going to do this, I'm just going to tell you right from the start, is it's going to have to do with the, the way that you voice lead them, okay? So I'm going to give you some examples here. I'm going to do it, I'm going to start with woodwinds, okay, with the woodwinds section spread out across the keyboard. This is for, for things like film scoring. I'm going to start with a basic two note idea and then expand it, okay? So... Let's say we go like this. I'm going to start with, with a simple tritone between A and E flat. And then... I picked these particular notes at the beginning. So I'm going up from this tritone, expanding it to a fifth, and then I'm doing the sixth... Uh, between B flat and G, and then a six between A and F. But the reason I'm doing that is because that's gonna voice lead down to there. Okay, so that that's where the A major chord comes in. So that note becomes the middle note. That note that's in the clarinet there becomes a middle note of this A major triad, which then moves the tritone to E flat major, then goes down to C major, okay? I could also do something like this. Now that time I used this, what I would call F Lydian sound. There's my Lydian, it resolves to F major, and then uses the common tone of A. To go into the A major triad, then down to E flat, and to C major. And then you might want to go... So I did another leading line there. I used the interval of fifth from C to G, and then I'm using this sixth interval here, and then to an A minor sound, and then down to a, a G major with the third and the fourth uh, put together. You can hear in the flute at the top there, uh, where you have this beautiful major seventh dissonance there, but you have this G sus4 spread triad with a fifth. I could go to simply to that, but this having the, the, the fifth and they're doubled makes the voicing a little bit stronger, I think. And then obviously that note wants to move up to, to F major, I'm going to F5 chord there. It's just, I could get, make it a sus too. So the voice leading, like I did in the first one. Now that is leading a da, 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 back down to that E. So that's going to be our pivot note into that first modulation, right? And I'm, I'm using this B flat here because I'm implying it could be G minor to F major to A major. So once again, F Lydian. Another interesting dreamlike modulation that involves a tritone would be something if you let, let's say went from B7 to G major, then to D flat major. Now that takes advantage of that tritone between G major and D flat major. 
because that G that hits just before that makes your ear hear that, that sharp four, that Lydian sound. When you think of Lydian, that sharp four, you think otherworldly. So if I'm going to play a C Lydian sound, or that sound, that Lydian sound gives you that otherworldly. Anytime you hear that sharp four, it doesn't matter where it is, whether it's you don't even have to have the, any any low uh, accompaniment to it. If I put the low E flat with it, it gives it intensity. But when it's just hanging out there, way up in the in the stratosphere like that, or up here, if you were to have it inverted like that, right? This would be D flat. That would be A flat, D flat, G. Once again, that gives you that that dream-like quality. So even the going from one major chord to another major chord, a tritone away, will also achieve that same idea. Another technique that we can use for modulating is modal modulation. I'll play an example here using a common tone as the top note of the chord. Uh, we'll use E flat in this instance. So E flat's gonna be at the top note of every one of these chords. I might change it one time or something, but I'm gonna start here. I'm just gonna name you the modes that I'm thinking when I'm playing these sounds. So this first sound, I'm thinking E flat Ionian. Then I'm gonna think D Phrygian to C sharp Aeolian to C alter dominant to a B Lydian, this is really a B major 13, then down to a B flat mixolydian, then to A dominant diminished, then down to A flat Lydian, then down to G Phrygian, then down to F Dorian, and then finishing up with E flat Mixolydian. So those scales that I'm talking about are the scales that you would use linearly if you were to improvise over it, or you could write a linear expression or linear example over these sounds and connect them. And because of the way the voice leading works, it would sound really cool. Let me play the chords just in succession that I just did, if I can remember them. So here we go. Here's a linear example over the same set of modal chords. Check it out. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in these kind of concepts, they're all throughout my Beato book, which you can find on my website at www.rickbeato.com. And also, if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks for watching.